Björn Tomlin, yodeler in the duo, Polka Björn and Kleiner Heiner. We took Fargo from Vassnas to Molle. And under the way, there was a song on the radio. I've never heard it before. Jag var 13-14 år. Here in the flat Netherlands, we find one of the world's leading yodel experts. What is yodeling? That, that movement of the voice from, from chest voice to head voice and accenting that little jump that uh, occurs. Uh, so it's a kind of fetishistic development of that, uh, that little leap between the high and the low while most Western singers and pop singers try to eliminate that or smooth it over. Da gibt's ja ja viele, viele Möglichkeiten. Heine, wer ist deines Erachtens wohl der beste Jodler der Welt? Für mich? Für uns alle? Ist der Franz lang, lang weiter der Beste. Und ich glaube, so lang wie der jodeln kann, bleibt er der Beste. Ja, und den haben wir heute eingeladen. Unseren Franz Lang, den haben wir eingeladen. Einen Jodler höre ich gern. Unser Jodlerkönig. Franz Lang. The king of yodeling, Francis Lang, is a great inspiration for Polka Björn. Man Francis Lang, he's on the so utterly avslappet. When he does all those extreme pretty things, and treffs the right tone, very, very fine, clear falsett. So, for my sake, he's on the way to the ultimate yodeler, and he's got the charisma. Apart from the yodeling. Björn's life is balanced between philosophy and billiards. I had as a nitters for chat for no can also you skill league mer. Utgångspunkt är åtminstone att man inte har någon speciell form av identitet. Medbär. Thank you. 
The highly respected Dr. Jean Abitbol has had many big movie stars and pop singers as patients. Today, the throat specialist gets a visit from an excited polka bureau. Bonjour, you are the singer? Yes. Good. I am the doctor. You are. Nice to meet you, sir. Come on. What we have here, it's something like, uh, like a voice lab. And here we have, we have about four cameras. With this, I will see on your vocal cords, when you do an E, how it is. When you do a high pitch, E, E, then we will see how it's working, which is very interesting because I never did it before yeah. on yodeling. So it's going to be interesting for me. Yeah. Don't move. Don't move. OK. No, no, relax the nose. Relax the nose. Just relax the nose. Very good, very, very good. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Just relax, just relax the nose. Breathe by the nose now. Very good. Now you can sing. Take your microphone, the mic. Good, as you used to do. Christmas without you. Swallow. Now, Swallow one more time. Now, yodeling. You can say three interesting things. First of all, you have a very good vibrations on both sides, which is completely symmetrical. Go ahead. Breeze, 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 breeze. Second, the fact that it's a good vibration, you have a very good synchronization between the breathing, the vibrations, and the vocal track about the resonance chamber. Oh, oh, oh. You do it in a very nice harmony of the three things. And what is very interesting in your case that I really like, yeah. this is after three seconds only. Look, 3.40. Yeah. Three seconds. Now, now the muscles, how big it is. And the third, which for me is the most interesting for me, that you are able in three seconds, we have seen this here, to make your vocal muscle to gulp and to have a very good structure to be able to go very strong. Hmm. I don't know you, but I know you must have a very large register. <laughs> Jag känner relativt gott fart till Björn som heter Jon Tomren och var min tysk lärare och Björn känner ju gott min far Rolf Bygge som var hans norsk lärare. Heine Bygge, alias Kleiner Heine, is the other member of the yodel and polka duo. Det vi har på det är ju artigt för sig men det är ju till en viss grad en liten sån kommentar till samhället också. Jeg tror han kunne ha blitt en veldig god musikklærer, for han er så glad i unge. Og han har det der talent. Så det er veldig kjekt, og så blir han så glad av å spille. Så at det... Av og til så forsøkte jeg, så fikk jeg fått det til, men så bare hjelper jeg henne med å finne ut hva slags toner jeg skal ta der nå. For det er av og til så gjengelig så fort, så jeg hører ikke tonene. Men Hein, han hører det her med en gang da, så hjelper han med å finne Rätt att tona lägger och det här. Jeg kommer til å 
har vi kjørt det. Så må vi dra. Du må raske litt. Å, Jesus. Nei, jeg skal ha til. Hvor er årene han? Kanskje vi skal bare... Låne? Tjue låne den båten der. Jeg er jo fremdeles i sjokk. Etter å treffe igjen. Bjørn og Heine også har en tredje medlem av Yodel Team. Bjørns beste venn, Halva. Det var den første bennen når de gikk på videregående, kanskje. Halva kunne ikke synge den i hele tatt. When Halvar is not working with Björn and Heine, he uses his voice at the opera in Copenhagen. Det blir en del av hverdagen. Når man våkner opp, er det stemme over først å tenke på. In the 1800s, in the 19th century, you had a bunch of um, opera stars who, I, I don't know if it was out of boredom or out of just trying to have some fun, uh, you know, they, they, they would perform their operas, but they also performed for popular audiences, and sometimes they would throw in a yodel. It tests your lungs and it tests your vocal cords, and not everybody can do it, and so they, they wanted to prove they could do it, I think. Altså, stå og gaule og jodle, altså. Da er det veldig personlig. Du bruker sånne indre, sånn der, du må gi alt. Du må bare kjøre på, hvis ikke så funker det ikke i det hele tatt. Bjørn og Heine, men nå kjenner jeg nå best Heine, ikke sant? Han elsker å fornøye sitt publikum. Og det der er musikk som alle blir for godt å møre av. The yodel itself creates a kind of festive atmosphere in a lot of ways, because it is such an unusual vocalization that the people just almost start laughing because it's something so strange, you know, like uh, in a scary movie when, when it's so scary you start to laugh. I think that if it had been, if it had heard on Jodling, day and night, så han ikke flytt. Jeg har blitt flytt på latteren, ville du.
Men jag är inte så duktig att kommunicera med unga tror jag. Jag är egentligen trivs bäst och när jag får snacka lite med andra folk då i i mitt ass. Jag vill ju liksom inte sitta där och vara sån bitter. Men vi är ju ofta när vi träffas så hörs vi lite ut som sån bitter gamla män då. Det vi allra helst kunde tänkt oss var att spela runt på gamla hem och få väldigt få folk. And you know that sometimes days come along when it's yodeling time again. Bart Plantenga is one of the world's leading experts on yodeling and the history of yodeling. In addition to his radio show, he's also written the book which is considered to be the Bible of yodeling. If you'd said this to me 15 years ago, I would have said you are crazy that I would ever write a book about this, you know. And uh, it just, it gained a life of its own, uh, the book itself and uh, the subject. Because the subject itself is so crazy or unusual or everybody has their own idea about it that the BBC, Public radio here in the Netherlands, the newspapers are all interested on some level on, in the subject. However, there are also those who have yodeling in their blood, like 77-year-old Janet McBride. Uh, Bart would love it. There's your lady O. You got two copies. Oh. Uh, uh, I buy them when I can get them at a decent price. Anyone will tell you if you're going to uh, be in the music business, yodeling is kind of like a word that they, they want you to forget it of your vocabulary. Janet has been on the barricades for more than 50 years. And now she's teaching new generations of yodelers. All of them I've worked with on yodeling, which is why I end up getting awards because of the kids I've worked with. You know, they got to learn timing, they got to learn their words. There's a lot. <laughs> Har inte jodling om problem. Det, det, jag har blivit anklagad för det och det tar i stark avstånd från. När han stod nere i källaren på studentjämmet uppe på Alrek, 
där han där han gömte sig nere i vaskekällaren för att öva på jodling och på ett litet förkärt tidspunkt när han var stille länge så gunna och jodla och skrämma liv av en dam som ska ner och och vaska kläder mitt på natten. Every yodeler who has had to tell news reporters or journalists endless times so where do you yodel you you have to come up with a humorous answer. Most people say I do it in the shower. I do it when nobody is at home. I do it in my car on my way to work because then nobody hears me doing it. So in the the idea is that you want to be uh, polite and discreet and not bother people with your horrendous yodeling. You have to practice to be a good yodeler. And uh, in in my case, I had the fields in the woods when I was a kid. Lived in the state of Maine when I learned to yodel. And I was just able to go out and yell, you know. As Patsy Montana used to say, you go out and holler. Det är fint att vara alene för du kan inte driva plaga folk med jodlingar. När de ska öva med jodde sånt på en komplicerad jodlåt så är brudstycke i jodla. Folk som sitter och hör på det här kan gärna... Det kan lite traumatiskt för dig kanske. It may be true to a certain extent, but I, I don't know, is somebody playing tuba next door to you or a violin? The first times you hear a violin, is that much better? I don't think so. At a gig three years ago, things started to happen. Something that would take the yodeling to a new level. I was introduced as a manager to get the love to come backstage and drink oil. It was a very short career. It began the night they were going to be on the national scene, an open scene, a stage dive. Och den enda väl egentlig samma kväll. Då jag inte visste var att det var en helt annan manager som hade ett lite större apparat i bakgrunden. Jag har tre traktorer, det har jag tre traktorer, så har jag jordmaskin och lastbil. Så har jag diverse mindre utstyr då. Men eh, jag har eh, en vägskrava på hon mot i Telemark och en bulldozer på Eilo. But what's most important about Arne Sparer might not be his passion for machines and agricultural equipment. Jo, det var inte många tidigare att vi har sett i går. Arne is one of the leading managers in Norway and his company Stageway has many of the country's most famous artists. Stage diving. Little bit of it out there, so Dukka Bjorn Einar. I knew that this was a galskapsatt system. We talked a lot about tungt machinery, such as grav machines, tractors, broken cars, I don't know what it was. It was really good. 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 Dette her er kanskje rett mann. Sånn tenker jeg veldig ofte når jeg innleder samarbeid med artister. Jeg må ha noe som det bare finnes en av i verden. Det finnes definitivt bare en folkabjørn og en kleine egne. Bodle er bra nok, men hjemme er best. Det har vi alle fått lære. Jeg liker tingret i stormkast og lest. Det må det stille kan være. Det er det som 
Norway is too small. The world is waiting, and Anna wants the band to go international. It's getting exciting now. I'm the water cutting the cutting the wool. Look at this. Look at this, Anna. That's how you do it. How you do it? It's early morning in Bergen. Heine and his girlfriend are getting ready for departure. In Goethe, on the Faroe Islands, people get ready for the summer's big event, the G-Festival. Heiner's second homeland welcomes the duo with open arms. Jodling on demand. Jodling på kommando. Då ringer folk till ett nummer och så spelar de då om de kan få jodling här i mitt hus. Så kan vi hämta försäljiga färdiga husstander för dagen. Vi tar det väl liksom steg för steg, följer. Han 
Jag tror han kunde tänkt sig att vi får rätt på sån här eh, Letterman show på en måte, men eh, han vill liksom inte skrämma oss heller. The manager wants the band's image to be clearer. They need new press photos and Björn gets to decide the look they're aiming for. Handicrafts are central. And it can't hurt to use a stripper. If you want to, you can rest your head on this one. Laughter would be uh, uh, helpful for yodelers is because they need to protect themselves. When you yodel, you have to be ready maybe for a bad reaction, but if you can put it in a framework of humor, it may be an easier way to yodel in public. And I, I see this in a lot of modern yodelers. It's, it's ver, sometimes it can be really technically good, just as good as Franz Lang sometimes. And, and or but, it, it, it has a humorous side to it. Like, I'm really good at this, but I don't really mean it, you know? I have all turned all day, you know? Jeg tror ikke vi tuller oss ofte i. Noen ganger så vet ikke en bjørn selv heller om en spøk eller om en er alvorlig. Det er jo døds, dødsangsten, det. Det er jo alle driver med virkelighetsflykt. Det er en sånn rastløshet at du skal få et eller annet til å skje for å underholde seg selv hele tiden. Alt blir veldig surrealistisk, og det er noen ganger veldig vanskelig å finne ut akkurat hva han synes selv. Altså det der med at de ja, med opptrer helst på gamle hjem og sånn, og like oss best i, i de rammene. Og da er jeg kanskje litt tøyst, men det er kanskje litt alvorlig, altså. Da er konkurransen selvfølgelig. Tingen er at vi skal, eh, vi skal varme opp for AHA Poppendet. Oh, ja. Har du hørt om den? Ja, ja. 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 Og da er altså konkurransen at vi har laget en liten sånn jodlesnutt over en AHA-melodi. Oh, ja. Og hvis den klarer å gjette hva melodi det ja. da vinner man to billetter. Jeg tenker bare at jeg blir ikke litt små, litt langt ifra. Manager Arne has got Polka Bjørn and Kleine Heine a support band for AHA on their entire farewell tour. Jeg har aldri fått sunget for så mye folk som har gjort med Polka Bjørn og Kleine Heine. Bjørn har jo både mikrofonskrekk og sceneskrekk. Hvis du skal prova. Thank <laughs> you. 
As soon as we fade out again, you're good to go, yeah? Ready anytime, anytime, sir. Best is still a little bit more. Later. Okay, guys, take it away, please. Thank you, sir. Yeah, very good. Come on, guys! Watch this. Come on, guys! Good evening, Oslo. Are you okay? Wave if you can hear me. Björn is from Tumrefjord. And uh, he has brought a friend. We always bring a friend. Uh, not uh, necessarily to bring him on stage, but uh, to give him a hotel room and bring him out to drink a little bit with us. And this time, it was uh, old, an old schoolmate, and he's called uh, Halvar, and he would like to sing the third voice on the next um, song. Here we go. Det er så Jeg ikke. Det er kanskje like dum grunn til å bli kjent som noe annet. Eller bra grunn. Jeg er fra Romstallen, Norges Tirol. A quite big hit in 1942. Here we go, sing along if you know it. In the wake of their success with AHA, the duo now go on their own tour. Anna thinks they're now ready to take the next step. Polka Björn and Kleiner Heiner have to make their first yodel hit. It's nice, nice to have a hobby, whatever it may be. To fish or dance, play badminton, or scuba dive in the sea. None of this, however, are my cup of tea. I prefer the weather sports and most of all to ski. Ski. <laughs> With the song, I like to ski, in their luggage, Anna sends Björn and Heiner to a studio. Jag är ganska trygg på att det här blir en hit, sånt. Ja, jag ser trygg och trygg, 97 procent säker. Ja, nu där jag fick besked när jag blev spurt. It's nice to have a hobby, whatever it might be. 
Two for sure dance, play badminton or scuba dive in the sea. Summertime swimming. Then the song can finally be tested on its core audience. It's nice to have a hobby, whatever it might be. To fish or dance, play badminton, or scuba dive in the sea. Not all this, however, are my cup of tea. I prefer the winter sports and most of all to ski. I like to ski, I like to ski. I like to ski, I like to ski. I like to ski. In between it all, Bjorn sometimes goes up to the mountains to read philosophy in Anna's cabin. I think it's a good idea to okay, now we're going to get a little success, and then we're going to break it down again. It's a very good idea to public, and then try to get it in again, maybe, and then try to plague me and so on. Alltså spelar så fullt i karaktär i hytte bina. Hur det kan se. Alltså i sista artet lagar såna pinliga stämningar och allt detta fanskap men i Norge sant. Ska tro sånt bu här nu och folk faktiskt det tror att det med Ja. Jag kan tära på ibland. However, there are places in the world where no one knows who Björn and Heine are. In Milwaukee, a young man embarks on a 27-hour-long ride to the biggest music festival in the world, South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. His name is Joe Commons. Jag har stadsfärg på mina delar. Jag har blivit mer professionell. Ja, det gör det. Mycket mindre moro. Mer arbete. Mindre moro och mer arbete. Det hörs inte så mycket. Det är bara att han dras oss upp lite. Ja, det är sånt att säga. Och så här låt oss undra. Det är bra, det är bra. After two days on his bike, the American yodel enthusiast, Joe, is finally meeting his spiritual kinsman from Norway. Joe, nice to meet you. Hey, Joe. Hey, Bjorn, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Joe, Finally. nice to meet you. Yeah, it's been, it's 
been a few years coming, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, been, uh, yeah, that's pretty fun. I was I was yodeling the whole way down <laughs> for, uh, for for like the two days. I I was hoarse all yesterday. I was yeah. like, man, I better stop yodeling. You want a beer? Yeah, sure. I'm really excited to meet you guys. Oh, it's been a uh, it's been such a long time coming. It's I just have like a small one uh, with me. Oh, but uh, you want to find a. I need to like learn your. Uh, your uh, set list. Okay. So we do uh, first one hour, just you and I, and then we do uh, one hour, Bjorn and I. Okay. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uber Alim Alpenland is the new More than anything, Joe likes to talk about the king of yodeling, Francis Lang, all the time. Have you guys heard, um, uh, do you, you ever heard his first record, like Dark Kinnick's Yodeler, the LP album? Oh my god. You guys are missing out. Whenever I can, I'm always <laughs> say, "Hey, you ever hear this song?" You know, I'm like always showing people, and they probably hate it. <laughs> you know, I spent so much money on Franz Lang related stuff. It's crazy. Like all these records, I got like four of the same records. I got like. Wait, no, this is. It's like she taught me the yodel, sort of. Finally, Björn has met someone who knows more about Franzel than himself. Joe has even been to Munich to find Franzel. It's into it. <laughs> and he succeeded. Yeah. There you go. I thought that was his house because I'm like, you know, famous yodelers live in a big old house, but he lives across the street. <laughs> this is his garage here. I'm like totally a stalker, but uh, I saw his, his Mercedes van and it said it had his license plate, and I was like, that must be Franz Lang. I found his house. No, and what was the, the license what, what it, was, it was some. It was it his birthday and FL. So. <laughs> I'm so excited they're going to be here. I'm so excited they're going to be at the barn dance. Um, I looked them up on the web, and I know that they're going to be outrageous fun for our crowd, because our crowd likes to dance. That's why it's called the barn dance. And uh, we've got a wooden dance floor, and, and we like things pretty um, eclectic. Joe will be performing with Björn and Heiner and is wearing lederhosen for the occasion. His name is uh, Joel Cummins. Thank you on the anthem. <laughs> Munich is the yodel capital of Germany. This is where Franz Lang lives, and here, yodelers can get anything. Okay, let's try a little bit. Okay. The, the shirts are so wonderful. Cheers. Yeah, we have awesome. Cheerio. Cheerio. Guys. Mm. That's the same. We have a way with this. Leather trousers had to be tight in the first time because leather stretch. Yeah. You don't have to feel good in trousers first. No, in the future, stretch and stretch and stretch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So what do you think about this? Good, you must try to push the shirt in the trouser. I hope you're not shy. I'm a, it's a pleasure. Okay, it's always the best job for me now. Don't get slimmer. You serve all your customer drinks? Well, of course. It's traditional for our store. Yeah, and always this leaves up. Yeah. You all want to see some skin. Yeah, really? always. And the other side. And on the leather trouser, you wear no boxer short. You wear some small thing or nothing. The best way is always nothing. Oh, sorry. Ooh, because if you wear a boxer short, it comes up, it's crinkled there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nothing. It's the best way. Yeah. And this is the most important thing of a leather trouser. Yes. Oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. I, it's okay. Yeah, drink. I pick up the new bottle. Oh, yeah. Oh. Egentlig hele dette prosjektet er helt umulig å forstå seg på. Skjønner du det? Nei. Jeg skjønner det ikke. Jeg vet ikke om jeg har lyst til å være med på dette. Jeg vet ikke om jeg liker musikken. Jeg vet ikke om manageren egentlig har trua på oss. Og jeg vet ikke om manageren tuller eller om en... Og han vet ikke om vi tuller, eller jeg vet ikke om Bjørn tuller. Bjørn, du vet ikke om jeg har lyst til å være. Det er egentlig en bare kaos eller greia. Etter den visit til butikken, Bjørn finnes finnes den kurage. Er det deg, Jo? Ja, det er Bjørn. Hei, Bjørn. Hvordan er du? Jeg er veldig god, ja. Vi er i Minchen. Yeah, <laughs> so we're uh, we're a bit uh, you know nervous before the big meeting. <laughs> no, we're not sure yet. We'll you know probably ten minutes away or fifteen minutes away. No. no. Um, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about giving him a. I like to ski. I'm not sure what to do. You see, I'm not sure what, how to approach this and. Because of course you don't want visitors. Yeah, I will definitely, sure. But uh, does he speak English at all? Only German. Okay, shit. Cover that. Okay, all my cover that. Det er en strippar på gåvedet. Utover det, så er det helt greit. Men hvis hvordan 81, 80 år gamle jodlere får helse til brasilianske mannlige strippere. Hva er det da med å sitte der så fort med oss da? Men du, man må ikke være så til med det, kanskje. Se det, det er jo ikke noe. Hvorfor skal du se det? Hva skal du si nå? Hvorfor skal du ringe på? Hva er det med disse to brenn? Kan de forstå det? Ikke begynne en jord, eller? Det er jo en frans som er så hostet. Dette her er CD-en jeg har lyst til å ski. Så dette er bare noe visittkort. Bjørn did not get to meet Fransson. But maybe it's a comfort that he didn't have to speak German. Instead, he visits Jodlerwert, the legendary tavern where Franzl Lang started his career. To get to Jodl here is very special.
Mein Vater ist ein Appenseller. <lacht> Thank you. 